Morning guys. Morning. So we've been getting this comment quite a lot. So we thought we'd make a video today of why we chose a school bus rather than a RV. Cheers. <laughs> We're Kels and Jay, and we converted a school bus into our very own tiny home on wheels. We are taking it all around America, with our baby Pippa, of course. Come along for the ride as we try to adventure in all 50 states. Let's get out, can leave this city. First reason why we chose a schoolie is the cost. To buy a schoolie compared to like a motorhome, it's just way cheaper. The upfront costs are lower. So for us, we spent 26,000 and you can't get a decent motorhome for that kind of money. And that was over the course of eight months. We could never have paid 26,000 upfront just to buy an RV, even though they're way more than that. But you get what I'm saying? We were able to spend 26,000 on the build in chunks over eight months so it's just way more feasible and of course you can get like a cheap towable rv then you have to buy a truck to be able to tow the rv so then you're looking at like sixty thousand altogether so for us cost was definitely the first thing that we kind of looked at and was like oh this is this makes sense okay so number two on our list is the safety of a school bus. So with safety, obviously they're built to last. They're meant to carry school children. RVs, on the other hand, if you do a simple Google search of RV crashes, they are not built to last. If you're looking to maybe live short term in an RV, that could be a really great option for you. But for us, we were looking to live full time and we wanted something that would last. Another thing as well is school buses are meant to handle harsh conditions like weather, hurricanes, and because we're traveling all over the country, we wanted to make sure that we had something that would be able to handle all that okay. While it is built to last longer and it is a lot safer, it is heavier. So with that comes worse gas mileage. Over time, it might be a little bit more expensive. So it just depends on what you're looking for, what you kind of want out of your RV or school bus. And another point that's definitely worth mentioning is so RV roofs, they're like prone to leaks because they're so like flimsy and fragile. Whereas a school bus, it's made out of sheet metal. You seal the seams up, it's not gonna get damaged from a hailstorm or maybe you hit a branch on a tree when you're driving. It's not gonna do anything. And with saying that, RVs are not insulated well. They're made with like quarter inch ply walls, two layers with like a little bit of wool in them. Like our bus, we have spray foam insulation. So with the spray foam alone, our R value is pretty, pretty decent. But with saying that, we have a lot of windows. So it's kind of counterproductive. We keep the heat with the spray foam, but then we lose a lot of heat with the windows. And we always wanted a roof deck. And there's no way you're putting a roof deck on an RV roof. It just wouldn't be able to support it. It would crumble. So that was another reason we chose the school bus. And tagging on to that point, look at the tires. We wanted something that we could take down some dirt roads with a little bit of confidence. So like to have a school bus with these chunky tires, yeah, the bus weighs more, but it just feels sturdier, like going down like dirt roads. I have more confidence in the tires. But with that, they're way more expensive to replace. Our tires, I think were like, I think it was like 400 bucks a tire, and we have six of them. So when you take that into consideration, again, it's, you've got to find the balance. You want something that's sturdy as balls, it's going to cost a little bit more to replace. So another reason why we chose a bus rather than an RV is because we started with a blank canvas. We were able to create the layout exactly how we wanted. None of the RVs that we looked at 
really had the layout that we were looking for. And with this, you can be really creative, make it your own, and build it exactly how you want it. And I mean, just look at her. She's so unique and quirky. And I guess the thing for me, I always said I wanted to build my own home, and this was just a way of making that happen. I mean, sure, we could have just bought an RV, been able to move in and hit the road straight away, but then building it from scratch, it just feels more like home. And with that being said, because we built it ourselves, if anything breaks along the way, we'll know how to fix it. And much like our ceiling, this was upcycled from pallet wood. Kind of did the same thing with the bus. So the bus would have otherwise just sat in a yard somewhere after it retired from doing its normal routes. Eventually would have been scrapped, but we took the school bus, gave it another lease of life, and now it can live on. And another thing, you become part of such an amazing community, the Schooly community. Everyone is so welcoming, so kind, and everyone is just as crazy as you are, so really great. <laughs> so at the end of the day, you don't choose the schooly life. Schooly life chooses you. Hey, Bye-bye. Schoolies aren't for everyone. There is no right or wrong decision if you go with a RV or a schoolie. Schoolies are a lot of work, way more than I think anyone thinks when they first get involved in them. So they may not be for you, but for us, this was the right decision and you're just gonna have to do your own research, see what works for you. And I hope no RV owners were offended in the making of this video because we do love RVs as well. I think we're biased because we bought a school one. We're a little bit biased. <laughs> But yeah, I hope this helps you guys make a more informative decision if you are on the fence about whether to go with a schoolie or an RV. Thanks for watching. Yeah, no, I gotta go <laughs> kill some flies. <laughs>